us to do a demo in under one minute, so here we go. This is Seed Scout. This is my profile. I can edit my profile, but only people that can see my profile are paying on Seed Scout, which means not every user can see my profile. Only other paying users can see my profile. This is to maintain the quality of the users that are looking at the different data. If I want to view other people's data, then I can sign up for a paid plan starting at $100 a month, and then I can see investors, founders, and job seekers. Going to investors, the default view is random, but if I want to see the most recently engaged investors, I can click last engaged. Here we see Daniel last engaged with an introduction today, Diana today, Elizabeth today. So let's say we want to learn more about one of these investors. We can click view profile and we can learn more about them. We see he's an SF. We see that he's a GP. We look, see that he's interested in a lot of different sectors. So if we decide we want to meet him, all we have to do is click request introduction. You can optionally put a custom message, but even if you don't, you already have a message crafted here that tells this investor enough about you, which includes your company, your link, your pitch deck, and your one-liner. If you decide you don't want to request an intro to Daniel, but you want to keep him on your radar, just click bookmark and you come, come back to him later. Let's say you live in New York City and you only want to request intros to uh, investors in New York City. All you got to do is type New York City, click City, and click Add Filter, and you see that we have 126 investors in New York City. If you only want active investors in New York City, simply do greater than or equal to intro request engage with and do 10. This gives you a list of 18 investors who are in New York City who are active on Seed Scout. Now, we don't just have investors. We also have founders. If you want to build up your founder network of people that can make interest to investors, you also can search your uh, your city for, uh, uh, for founders. For example, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm going to type Phoenix, and I can see that we have 92 founders on Phoenix in, uh, in, in Seed Scout. So we can browse the list. If we see someone we want to talk to, we can click on their profile and request an intro just like we can with investors. The last thing to know about Seed Scout is that we have a mentor program, which we call auto intros. Auto intros are automatic introductions you get to anyone on Seed Scout that have these pinned to their account. Let's say you want to meet Randy Holloway, who's at Google, and you're worried that because he's been sent 81 intro requests, he's only replied to 33, you're worried that he wouldn't reply to your intro request. Well, you have the option to trigger an auto intro to him. An auto intro means you would get instantly introduced and you get 30 minutes of his time. That one means he has one auto intro left, which means if you don't use it, someone else might. That is high level how you use Seed Scout. In, in summary, Seed Scout is a platform where anyone can join for free and make an account. But in order to browse other uh, other people on Seed Scout, they need to uh, pay for a plan. The plan started at $100 a month. Once you pay for a plan, you can access our investors, our founders, and job seekers. The whole point of Seed Scout is to find someone you can do business with and build relationships with, right? Because in the world, what do they say? Your network is your net worth. I hate the quote, but it's true. And on Seed Scout, we're trying to make that easier for you to expand your network to do what you need to do in business. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at matt at seedscout.com. I realize that this is three minutes, not one minute, but I needed to share all of that so you knew what was going on. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy Seed Scout when you sign up. Thanks.